Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, in this video, I'm going to do another product review. I have in front of me the UCEC GAM Live Pro video capture card, and that's GAM spelled G-A-M. They leave off the E for some reason. Anyway, I got this device from UCEC free of charge, full disclosure, as a review product. However, they have nothing to do with what I'm going to say in this video, nor do they get to review it before it goes up on my YouTube channel. They will see it for the first time when you see it. Now, according to the online literature for this particular capture card, it has some interesting features, some of which I just highlighted. It's supposed to be zero latency pass-through on the 4K60, and it's supposed to be fully 1080p60 output through the USB 3.0 into whatever program you have on your computer that will accept that sort of output. I'll be doing my testing with OBS, and we'll see how it works. Now, if you get something out of this video that you find useful or helpful in any way, I still would appreciate if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. Then you'll be able to see videos where I do further testing, other product reviews, building entire PCs. Please consider it. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's inside. And then I'll go ahead and start the testing, show you the results and the actual process that I use as I test this particular device. Okay, let's get this box open and see what's inside here. I got my handy dandy Swiss Army knife. Get this up underneath here and open it up. It's got a nice box actually. Surprised by that. Let's get this guy out of here. It's actually much squarer than the one that I reviewed last from UCEC, which had a lot of rounded edges to it. So this one here is very square. It's like I said before in the introduction, it has an input and an output HDMI, so it has a pass-through, which we will test to make sure that it uh, is close to zero latency. And then over here, it has the USB 3.0 output. Looks like what we got here is for a regular headset, both headphones and microphone, standard headset connector and it has a gamepad connector here. So if you happen to be using a gamepad, play an online game, you can take all of the sound coming from that gamepad and feed it into here. So that's pretty good. It's nice and solid. Metal outer case, nice metal construction, very strong. Not plastic at all. Pretty durable, I believe. Okay, let's put this down here. And I'll see what else is in the box here. Looks like we got the user manual here. I'll have to read that before I start testing it. Oh, this one's in color. I like that. I always like color user manuals. The black and white's very hard to follow. Still small, but it's all in color. That's great. What do we got in here? Thumb hole to it. Okay. And then we have a package underneath it. Oh, uh, USB 3.0 to USB-C. So it's a Type A 3.0 to a Type C. Matter of fact, it says that. And it's uh, 0.5 meters. That's nice. And this looks like a little, another USB 3.0 Type A to Type A. This is what I'll probably be using. The standard Type A to Type A USB 3.0. And it's got a small HDMI cable. Let's see, how long is this thing? Looks like it might be as long as five or six feet. Let's see. What do we got here? And it's about four feet. Really a good cable, it's got a, a good casing to it. It's pretty good quality. So that's what's in the box. I guess the next step is to test all of this and make sure that this thing is performing as it says it's supposed to perform. Okay, here's a screen capture of testing with the camera going through the Elgato, same time that we're looking at the screen. So let's start the counter. That works out to 138 minus 42, or a total of 96 milliseconds propagation delay. However, that is the 4K60 that's actually connected up to my PCI slots. So it really doesn't have to go through a conversion to USB. This is just done as a benchmark that I'm going to subtract from the other measurements. Okay, now this one's a little complicated. I have the camera going through the game live through its pass-through and then from there to the Elgato. So we see on the screen here 
the Elgato 4K60 and the game live output in addition to the screen capture. So now let me let this run for a few seconds and then we'll stop it and see what it looks like. This test tells us two things on this one screen. If you look at either one of the two left side ones over to the one on the right, it shows us that we have a total propagation delay of this new game live at just about 126 milliseconds. But if you compare the two on the left, it shows that the pass through has virtually no propagation delay at all. It might be something less than a thousandth of a second, but it doesn't show here. Okay, let me show you how it's all hooked up here before I move on to a couple of final little tests. I have the GAM Live Pro hooked up, but only HDMI coming right from the camera going through and into the input jack of the device. Nothing on the output, so I'm not doing a pass-through. On the output, I have the USB 3.0 cable, and it is connected up to my computer over here the USB 3.0 connector coming in right over here. If you look at the lights that are on it, as I indicated when I opened the box, it has two lights. There's a red and there's a blue. The blue tells you that it has power on right here, and the red tells you that it's actively transmitting something out of the USB cable. Now what you're hearing right now is the sound that's coming from the camera. I have my standard lapel microphone connected up to my camera and it's being passed through the GAM Live probe, converted and put through the USB and going into OBS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the microphone off of my camera, this lapel microphone. So I'm going to unplug it and then I'm going to plug it into this connector that I showed you during the box opening. There's one for a microphone. So I'm going to connect it up to that microphone connector and we'll see if it works okay. So let me unplug it from the camera. And now I have it plugged up going through the GAM Live Pro. How does that sound? It shows a pretty good level on the uh, OBS. So I think we're doing pretty good. Let me show you what I mean. If we come up here and look at the OBS screen, you can see this line right here. That's the sound coming out of the GAM Live Pro. I have other sound sources turned off right now, so that's the only one that I have active. So it seems to work pretty good. We'll see. I'm going to play it back. And then finally, let's see how it works when I have a Raspberry Pi connected through it. Brought up my web page. I actually bought it the review of the last UCEC capture device that I used. Let's see how that turns out. Pretty welcome to my latest video. Well, this one I'm going to do a review of a HD video capture card. This particular one is from a company called UCEC. I think that came out pretty good. So let me move on to some uh, charts to describe some of this. In this first chart, I'm showing the latency comparison between the three recent units that I've tested. This one, the UCEC 4K60 unit, the previous UCEC HD unit that I tested, and my Elgato HD60 unit. As you can see, they're all fairly close here. In this chart, I show the actual costs involved. So this new UCEC 4K60 unit is more expensive than their previous model, but it has some improved features, as you may have noticed, including the ability to be focused on game streaming. The most expensive one, clearly, is the Elgato unit. They have the market share and the brand. Well, that completes this review of the UCEC Game Live Pro video capture device. It did extremely well, as you saw. It's going to cost a bit more, as you saw from one of the charts there. It's going to cost about $110 as opposed to some of the other ones, but it's still competitive if you compare it against an Elgato. So I think it's pretty good. It is meant for doing streaming of your gaming. That's pure and simple. Both the headphone jack and the game console controller are there for that specific purpose. If that's what you're into, I think this device will do extremely well for you. So if you got something out of this video that you found useful or helpful in any way, again, I'd appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be able to see the future reviews of other devices I may come across. Well, until the next time, take care, be safe, and be healthy.